Hello and welcome to another episode of Historical Churches. Here on the channel today we will be exploring St Mary's Church in Marston-on-Dove, Derbyshire. The church dates from the 13th century and is built from sandstone ashlar with Welsh slate roofs with stone cope gables. It comprises a west tower and spire, aisled nave and south porch and chancel. Between 1927 to 1929, the church was restored under the supervision of Percy Haleen Curring. The church contains the oldest bell in Derbyshire, which was cast by John of Stratford in 1366. The pipe organ dates from the late 17th century and was originally in Sudbury Hall, Derbyshire and later in Sudbury Parish Church. St Mary's has a special place with me as my parents were married here, I and my son were christened here and I also have ancestors buried in the graveyard. The church is surrounded by fields and is very quiet. There are many old graves, most dating from the 1800s up to the modern day. If you look closely, you can see where repairs have been made to the walls and windows. The ground can be very bumpy in places and in winter very boggy, so you must tread with care when exploring the old graves. There are lots of old graves here, differing in size and style. Mostly the grounds are well maintained, but I did notice a few graves around the border that were overgrown and long forgotten.
It is fascinating to explore the graves and your mind can drift to thinking of these people, their lives and the world they lived in. Many of the old graves are still readable and it is worth visiting if you have ancestors in the area at the time of their death. However, some of the graves have broken or weather-worn from the passing of time. Some are even completely missing. As the ground gets boggy in winter, many headstones are leaning and within a few years time these two could get broken and removed. Though some graves are in a sorry state, others remain as though they were only erected yesterday and still have their elegance. The church was not open but I managed to peer in through the windows to take a look. Sadly this is the best I can offer without going inside. If you enjoy looking around churches you should definitely visit St Mary's as it offers many old graves to explore. If you have enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon for more historical churches. Until then, goodbye.